Carl, the um, uh, city outfit is pretty strong uh, and they've been pretty seasoned by now. 38 goal difference, so it looks like a pretty tight competition. Yeah, look, they're a very good side. They've, uh, you know, um, won the championship again, I suppose, in the local MPL. So um, we know it's going to be a difficult game. Um, at the end of the day, um, our team is a, a professional team. Um, they have to go out and tomorrow night and do a professional job and get the, the job done. The, um, uh, the match fitness in Adelaide City, you think it's going to be hard to counter? No, not at all. Um, as I say, they've been on a long season, they're semi-professional players, so um, yes, they'll have that match conditioning, but um, you know, as I said, we're a professional side, we're you know, six weeks into our pre-season, our boys will play you know, a different tempo than what they're used to, so um, you know, I have no concerns over the match conditioning. And coming back to uh, play a club for which you were once a member, what does that uh, uh, make for you? Yeah, look, it's, you know, I've had great memories at Adelaide City. Um, you know, they've been a very successful club and, and a very important part of my football career. Um, so, you know, I always have a lot of time for the club. Um, but tomorrow night, you know, I'm, you know, my whole loyalty is with Adelaide United. It looks like the, the boys put up on social media a week or two ago a whole bunch of former uh, City players that have played for the Reds. And, like, there's 30, 40 of them. Can you speak on the connection between the two clubs? Well, I suppose that's how you know Adelaide United formed um, was um, when Adelaide City pulled out of the NSL and Adelaide United stepped in. So that's how the how the club was formed, and a uh, majority of that season um, team that season from Adelaide City just shifted across. I think there was maybe 15 or 16 players that shifted straight across from Adelaide City to Adelaide United. So um, you know, there's there's a connection there between Adelaide United and how it was. Um, came about from when Adelaide City pulled out of the NSL. Does the connection add anything to you? Rivalry rise or anything? I mean, they, I know you're two teams that have never played each other really before, but is there, is there anything there in Adelaide Derby? Um, look, I, I suppose it, there's interest there because it's, you know, I suppose it's the second time that Adelaide United have played a, a local side. And I suppose there's more of a, a connection there because of Adelaide City's history in the, in the national competitions as well as the local competition. Played that a bit to me. It seems like there's a bit of tension under the surface between the two clubs. I wouldn't say there's any tension there. Um, as you say, that Adelaide City compete in the MPL and Adelaide United, uh, you know, uh, play in the A League. So um, I'm sh I'm sure the you know um, it's good for the supporters, I suppose, to have that tension there. But um, between the clubs, I don't, I don't believe there is. What does this type of game, uh, as Max said, it's been a long time in the making. What does a game like this mean for South Australian football? Yeah, I suppose it, it puts it shows um, how strong the the local competition is. You know, Adelaide City have a very strong side, and they they've done well. They were unlucky last year in the cup, and this year they've you know had a good result in their first game. Um, you know, everyone sort of underestimates the quality of football in South Australia, and, and tomorrow night you will see um, the quality that we have here in South Australia. What is it about the last 40, 50 years that has been you know what's Adelaide City been able to produce? so many wonderful players for South Australia and the Socceroos, what's been the secret behind all that? Um, yeah, look, I, I'm not sure. Uh, um, you know, going back in my time, there was a lot, you know, we had a lot of good South Australian players playing at Adelaide City and I've tried to instill that as well in my time here at the club, to try and give opportunities for, for young South Australian players um, and it's important that we provide that platform. Carl, obviously you guys are going to the matches favourites, does that mean anything or do you welcome that kind of expectation? Yeah, look, you know, I'll, put, I'll be putting that pressure on to, onto my own players. They're professional players and they have to go out tomorrow night um, against a semi-professional team and, and get the job done. It's as simple as that. Um, and that expectation should come from the players themselves to, to be the best um, and, and to show that they are the best. And how important to get a win and just, I suppose, set the tone for the season ahead? Um, yeah, look, it's important for us because it's opportunity for us to play um, games leading into the season. We don't um, get that many um, opportunities to play pre-season games and, um, in Adelaide. You know, I think last year we only played two or three games before we went into the A-League season. We ha then started a little bit slow in the A-League and it's important that we can, you know, hopefully play all the way through to the to the cup final here so we get that, that competition that then leads into the main competition for us. And health-wise, things are, things are good squad-wise? Yeah, yeah, we've got, we got a full squad. Um, you know, the only one that's missing um, for us at the moment, it's Craig Goodwin. He's starting behind everyone else. But other than that, you know, we've got a full squad and, and we'll go into tomorrow night's game unchanged from the last cup game. We saw what Sydney United did to Western United the other day. Is that a, a bit of a warning for you? 
you'll see? Yes, yeah, most definitely. It's, um, you know, if you don't turn up and, and work hard and do what's expected from you, um, you can get... Um, you can get beaten, and it was shown the other the other day with, with um, Western United. Um, and it's important that our players, you know, start the game well and, and play the game at a high tempo and and put the the MPL side under pressure. Are we going to see Benny on the bench or anything? Yeah, Ben Halloran will play tomorrow. Um, as I said, um, you know, we're at full full strength, and everyone is available in our squad. Um, so um, Ben will definitely play minutes tomorrow. Friendly at the moment. Can't imagine it'll be like that tomorrow night. Nah, tomorrow night, once that whistle goes, it won't be uh, any friendly encounters. I know that Nick's going to be doing his best to, to win for Adelaide City and I'll be doing my best to win for Adelaide United, so looking forward to playing against him. And not the extra pressure, uh, obviously a professional side, heavy favourites, do you feel anything like that? No, I mean for us we've just been preparing for any other game as we would against Sydney FC or or any other A-League team. Um, for, for us it's another game and we've got a job to do tomorrow night and um, we want to go as far as we can in this cup so Adelaide City will play tomorrow night and then look to beat them and keep pushing forward but by no means are we you know overlooking Adelaide City we're expecting a tough game and uh, really looking forward to it. And your first time playing against the old side how do you feel? Yeah playing against your old side always adds that little bit of extra motivation but you know I've got a good relationship with the players but you know as I said before um, once that whistle goes it's um, I'm going to be trying to win for Adelaide United. And who's going to win the 50-50 tackle? Me. <laughs> yeah him. <laughs>